Well, don't be put off by how short this statement is. It's actually quite complicated. So we've landed on this uh, deserted island here, and we're looking for the secret passageway in to where the chiral auxiliary room is. Oh, there it is. I think we've got it. Oh, a retinal scanner. That's okay. I pulled the guard's eyeballs out, and there we go. So chiral auxiliaries are used in uh, drugs and medicine production so that you'll only make one molecule of the handedness that you need, say the left-hand molecule, not the left and the right-hand molecule. If the left-hand one is the one you want, why would you produce the left and the right, especially since the wrong-handed molecule might actually be dangerous, like with thalidomide. Okay, so let me mix up my two non-chiral molecules and when they are finished up. So what I've actually synthesized is a drug and the drug has left and right-handed chirality. Now, remember in this case, only the left-handed one is the one that works, the right-handed one is toxic. So when a patient is given a spoonful of this drug, it contains the left and the right and that's bad. This poor devil here has been given the left and the right-handed one and he's not looking good behind that gloopy jelly. That's a bad drug. We just wanted the left-hand one. Now you could separate them after you've made them, but it's really expensive and tricky to do because chemically they're very similar, if not biochemically. All right, so we mixed those two chemicals together, reacted them, and that gave us a left and a right-handed pair of enantiomers. And that's not what we wanted. So if you take a little look at the gingerbread man, he's going to be our chiral auxiliary. He's going to be our little helper. So if we pop him on here, now that molecule has the handedness that we need. And so when it's reacted, the product is only going to be of one handedness. In this case, the left handed one. There is no right handed molecule produced. Now, if I could just pull this gingerbread man off, sorry, chiral auxiliary, I can recycle that. And great, I've only got the left handed molecules here. This guy can be recycled. Okay, so let me try and explain that again. So you can see the chiral auxiliary is attached to the molecule, and now that molecule itself has the chirality that I need. Mix them all up to make my drugs or medicine. And inside, well, that's excellent. I've only got the left handed ones, and look, I've got my chiral auxiliaries. I can still use those again. So I'm going to grab the left handed one and jump out. Uh, now this guy here, he's been treated with the left-handed one only. So that's good. The right-handed one's toxic, but the left-handed one, he looks, he looks like he could be doing better, but he's much better than the other guy. So chiral auxiliaries are used in medicine production to produce the handedness you want. I wonder what this button does. Oh, E? Who did? Oh, huh. I wonder what this button does. Maybe it's the chiral auxiliary recycling button. Nope. Ah, this is the door. I know that. Right, time to leave. Oh my god. It's his dad. Oh, the middle button was the door and the floor. 